Hi everyone, Leo here and in the today video we are diving deep into the impact of generative AI on music and audiovisual industries, thanks to a recent study done by the Confederation of Societies of Authors and Composers. And please take into consideration that I am an AI enthusiast and I actually use AI for instance in order to generate background images for my videos. So I think that I can have an unbiased opinion about these topics. Let's begin. A recent study conducted by the International Confederation of Societies of Authors and Composers, SISAC, highlights alarming trends that could reshape the creative industry. This video will explore the findings of this study, the potential consequences for human creators, what steps can be taken to protect artistic integrity in an AI-driven future, and my final two cents on this topic. First of all, generative AI refers to algorithms capable of creating content, including music and audiovisual works, often mimicking human creativity. The market for generative AI is projected to skyrocket from about 3 billion today to a staggering 64 billion by 2028. As you can imagine, this rapid growth raises critical questions about the sustainability of human creators in an industry increasingly dominated by technology. Let's share some more numbers. By 2028, music creators could face a 24% reduction in revenue, while audiovisual creators may see a 21% decline. The total potential loss for creators across both sectors could reach 22 billion over five years, with 10 billion attributed to music and 12 to audiovisual content. It's estimated that AI generated music could account for approximately 20% of revenues from traditional streaming services and about 60% from music libraries by 2028. The implications of these findings are profound and human creators face two primary threats. First, unauthorized use of works. Generative AI often utilizes copyrighted materials without proper compensation, leading to revenue losses for creators. Second, competition with AI outputs. As AI-generated content become more prevalent, traditional revenue streams for musicians and filmmakers are at risk of being cannibalized by cheaper AI produced alternatives. Furthermore, the study predicts that up to 30% of digital revenues for music creators could be lost due to AI competition, and translators and adapters involved in dubbing and subtitling may experience up to a 56% decrease in revenue, while screenwriters and directors could see reduction between 15 and 20 percent. This shift represents not just a loss for individual creators, but a broader economic transformation where basically money are gonna be transferred from artists or creators towards tech companies. In fact, by 2028, revenues from generative AI in music are expected to reach approximately 4 billion up from just 0.1 billion today. And in audiovisual content, projections suggest an increase to about 5 billion, reflecting a major market shift toward AI-generated outputs. Given these trends, SISAC highlighted the need from policymakers to step in with regulations that ensure fair compensation for creators and protect their rights against unauthorized use of their works. How, for instance, updating copyright frameworks to address the unique challenges posed by generative AI. Establishing systems where creators receive compensation when their works are used in training AI models. Mandating that AI companies disclose how they use copyrighted materials in their algorithms. And now, my two cents. First of all, 
I would highlight a sort of anthropologic effect of AI music generation. You know, music, in my opinion, is also a way to share emotions, experiences, etc. And uh, typically, when I listen to a great piece of music, I would also like to know the author message, what experiences have driven that specific piece of music, etc. And well, knowing that there is a machine behind a piece of music, well, it honestly reduces my emotional connection with the song and the author and reduce the magic behind the song. Furthermore, AI music creates a sort of diffidence behind each piece of music. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Some months ago I composed a pop song where I also sing. I was very proud of the result and so I wanted my children to listen to that piece of music that was nice and very meaningful for me. Well, once the youngest of my children listened to it, the first thing he said was Daddy, this is very nice. Has it been written with AI? <laughs> well, I was shocked. AI is not only becoming a competitor for us musicians, but casts an air of distrust over every song we can create. This is very frustrating for me. I mean, I'm very jealous of my music and very proud of some piece of music I create. But now there could be a doubt over each song. For instance, you can compose a song that you think is beautiful and you can't wait to share it. But everybody can say, it's so nice that it has been written by AI. How frustrating is it? The, the only countermeasures I see here is that we need to develop a very personal style, composing music, composing music that could have only been written by us. Of course, hoping that AI bot will not internalize our songs in their algorithms, copying us. This is very urgent for me. Focusing on music generation tool, I think that the source songs used to train music generation model must be specified. Also asking to the song original creators the right to use their song in the AI models. Otherwise, there is the clear risk that machines incorporate our poetic vision, our way of understanding art into their models, rendering us obsolete. You know, I have always thought that technology should gradually reduce the burden of low value added activities that humanity performs, allowing us to become increasingly free to dedicate ourselves to art, music, mathematics, science, etc. But here, guys, we are heading in the opposite direction. Machines are replacing us as artists and we will have to get by doing low value added jobs. Please let me know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment section below. Bye bye.